Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch and learn. Your teacher is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher, and in today's lesson we are informed to work lesson 6, and the topic is soil fertility 2, it deals with inorganic fertilizer, and the subtopic is the carbon cycle. Lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, we, you should be able to Number one, define the term carbon cycle. Number two, state ways of removing carbon from the atmosphere. Number three, state ways of returning carbon into the atmosphere. And finally, discuss the nitrogen cycle. Then the carbon cycle, uh, carbon and carbon cycle. Uh, by definition, carbon is the process through which the carbon is uh, removed from the atmosphere to the soil, and also from the soil, and then uh, back to the atmosphere. And also it can be uh, removed from the atmosphere to the plant, then from the plant, then back to the atmosphere. Then how does carbon exist? Existence of carbon, carbon exists in compound form. For example, we have carbon four oxide, and also we have carbon uh, carbonates in form of carbonates. Then uses of carbon. Carbon is very important uh, because it is used, uh, it is combined with oxygen to form carbon four oxide, which is used during the process of photosynthesis. And carbon cycle, I have already explained what is the meaning uh, of the carbon cycle. Uh, we are going to look on ways of removing carbon from the atmosphere, and the first one is through the process of photosynthesis. The second one we have as you can see it is well illustrated uh, in the, by the equation there. Uh, then we have uh, the third one, acidic rain, and it is well illustrated by the equation uh, also there, the carbon combined with the rainwater to form uh, weak uh, carbonic acid, which is the acidic rain. Then with ways through which uh, carbon uh, is returned into the atmosphere. The first one is respiration. As a result of respiration, carbon four uh, oxide is one of the product. It is emitted to the atmosphere. Then uh, the equation is there for respiration. Then we have combustion. As we burn uh, compounds of carbonates, uh, carbon four oxide is normally emitted as a byproduct. Then we have decomposition. Uh, as um, compounds that contain uh, carbo carbonates um, are decomposed, uh, it will lead to emission of carbon four oxide. What is the importance of carbon cycle? It maintains the level of carbon. Uh, number two, ensures uh, the, there is constant supply of carbon four oxide for plant use. As you know, carbon four oxide is a raw material for photosynthesis. And also, number three, ensures a balance between uh, carbon, two, and oxygen uh, in the atmosphere. Uh, then we have the nitrogen cycle. Uh, the nitrogen cycle is the process through which the nitrogen is uh, re removed from the atmosphere and also the, uh, the, the processes uh, which are involved in returning uh, nitrogen into the atmosphere. I have a, a chart here. At, it, it explains the various method through which nitrogen is removed from the atmosphere. Uh, the first one, you can, uh, you can remove nitrogen from the atmosphere through uh, nitrogen fixation by lightening. The second one, nitrogen uh, fixation by uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria, or in other words, a rhizombia. Then we have, once the plant uses uh, nitrogen, or carbon four oxide and nitrogen in, as, uh, in carrying out the process of photosynthesis, uh, the plants will be fed by the animal. And therefore, the nitrogen, uh, which is um, found in the protein, uh, it is utilized by the plant, uh, by the animal. Then animal on dying, they normally decay and therefore returning uh, nitrogen in form of nutrients uh, into the uh, soil. Then we have ammonium compound normally undergo decomposition, and in the process of decomposition, it may return nitrogen into the atmosphere, and also ammonia is one of the compound which is absorbed by the plant, and therefore enabling the plant uh, to obtain nitrogen. 
Then we have ways through which uh, nitrogen is removed uh, from the atmosphere. The first one is nitrogen fixation by ripening. I have already explained that. That is where the nitrogen gas combined with oxygen in presence of lightening, uh, the energy uh, for fixing the two comes from lightening uh, to form nitrogen four oxide, which then combine with the rain uh, to form uh, two acids, that is uh, nitric uh, five acid and nitric three acid. And this is what we refer to as acid Crane. Then we have nitrogen fixation by fix, uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria, that is rhizomium. Then we have nitrification. Uh, we have the bacteria involved there. We have nitrobacter and nitrosomonas. Then finally, we have harbor process. This is the process through which ammonia is produced. And therefore, uh, in attempt of producing ammonia, nitrogen should be removed from the atmosphere. And in the process, uh, we can see uh, harbor process normally remove nitrogen from the atmosphere. Then we have through ways uh, nitrogen is returned to the atmosphere. We have denitrification. The second one, we have combustion. And the third one, we have volatilization. volatilization. And during volatilization, uh, this is where the compounds are uh, uh, decomposed in presence of heat, and therefore they change uh, from solid state to gaseous state, especially the nitrogenous uh, compound. Uh, they normally produce the gases which are returned into the atmosphere through the process of volatilization. That is the, today, the end of today's lesson, and I will give you an assignment. The first question is, explain the various ways through which carbon is removed from the atmosphere. And the second question, you discuss the nitrogen cycle as it has been already been discussed. Then reference, we, you can refer from Secondary Agriculture Student Book 2. And for more information, if you like to clarify something from us, you can reach us through the following contacts. The first contact through SMS using the number which is well displayed for you. Then the second, you can reach us through YouTube at Elim TV. Then we have Facebook, you can reach us at Elim TV. Then finally, you can reach us through the Twitter at Elimu underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in my lesson. May God bless you.